Happy Monday, Fit Fam, and I know it's been a really long time, and I hope you're all doing well, staying healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, and I just want to share a little journey that I did. Again, I hope you're doing well. It was about this walk I did called the Great Saunter Walk, and I have some videos of what's going on, and most of the time I'm just going to be talking over the beautiful views that I recorded, so please like and subscribe, and here's the video. So I wanted to challenge myself, and I saw this on a website called the Great Saunter Walk, pretty much what it is, a 32 mile walk all around New York City. I love walking, I love New York, so I thought, you know what, let me take on this challenge. Um, I, started challenge I started to challenge myself and walking more this year, especially because I had work in an office, so I wanted to walk as much as I could. About a month before this walk, I did 20 miles in less than six hours, and I felt fine, so I was feeling really confident. When I was doing this walk, I was enjoying the views, the people, the weather was beautiful. It was on Saturday, May 6th, and it was just a beautiful day out, as you're seeing right now in the videos. The walking was just amazing. I had snacks, I had food with me, um, and what I was really doing was just listening to everything around me. I had, I did have my ear pods in most of the time for listening to some music or some podcasts, but I was just really amazed and taking in this beautiful day. And as you can see, there are different views. <laughs> there are a lot of views of obviously the river because we were walking all alongside um, the west side first, and then we went all the way up to. Inwood and they came down on the east side as you're gonna see later and we did see some construction and that was the thing too with this walk there was a disclaimer from this walk from the staff that organized it that it actually wasn't 32 miles it was gonna be 34 miles because there's some construction going on in New York because guess what it's New York and we were gonna walk a little bit extra and I, in my mind I was like all right two extra miles I'm gonna probably just need to pace myself and that's not what happened. The one thing I learned is that I definitely went off too fast because I was so excited. I started walking at 7.30 in the morning and I went a little bit too fast. Normally I walk at a 3.4 mile pace and unfortunately that was definitely gonna bite me in the butt later as you're gonna see on in the video. So again, this is just a beautiful day and the one thing that I learned is that the mental strength that it takes to walk consistently for over 11 hours is something that I was not prepared for. I want to let you guys know that I struggled the last three hours and unfortunately you don't see any videos of the last eight miles of this race which is still kind of coming around on the east side and I, usually, I stopped recording around 25 because I was in so much pain and uncomfortable. I want to thank two amazing women who helped me through this. Um, Maria, my sister-in-law, and Lucia, a friend of mine who's done a 100 mile race. I literally called them for my lifelines because I was doing this walk from myself. And even though there were a lot of people around me who were walking, I didn't feel as comfortable asking them for help. So what I did is I just walked and I cried and I realized that my body was breaking down. And that's the thing that I want to show you with this challenge is that I took this walk on. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to set myself up, it's only 32 miles, I'll be done 11 hours, that's it. It was far from that. For me, the last 3 hours and 8 miles were one of the hardest things I've ever done. I've never hit such a mental and physical wall where I literally thought that I couldn't move anymore. I was crying consistently. People were watching me cry and I had no shame. Being a New Yorker, crying in public, it's not the first time. It definitely won't be the last. And... It was, I am externally grateful for my sister-in-law and my friend to talk me through it. They are motivating me. They were telling me to go, go, go. You can do this. You're so strong. And in my mind, I was just feeling like I could feel every pain in my hip, my hamstrings, my feet, my, even my abs and my arms were hurting. I don't know why because walking is, <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be feeling it up in my shoulders, but I guess I was holding a lot of tension. And... It was just something that I had to remind myself, keep going. And there's at least five points when I was going to quit. I'm not going to lie. There was a bus. There was a cab. We were in New York City. I could have easily just left. And I kept telling myself, just do one more step. Just do one more step. And the motivational talk that I got from these two amazing women was that you're going to regret not finishing this. So even though you're in a lot of pain, and I was, you have to keep going. 
And hearing that from someone who knows me so well, who knows that I'm the only one that would sign up for this walk and my family and my close friends was very motivating me for me to do. And I reminded myself, and it was really hard because I couldn't hear my voice. I had to use a close person to be that voice for me. And it was something that I struggled. I, it was, it's been over two weeks since the walk and I don't remember a lot of the pain, but I do remember the fatigue and struggle and knowing that I've overcome something like this that I never tried before is making me feel more comfortable with who I, me who I am becoming. <laughs> This was a paper map that they gave us for the Great Solder Walk and it's really cool because they give you all these indicators of, for example, where we started, where we, we walked along the west side, and all the restrooms. I downloaded the, obviously the one on my phone because I wanted to make sure I was fine, but it was very interesting and very well organized and I appreciate this. We did have a lot of people who were using this map throughout the journey. A lot of it was just us following, so I really th would like to thank the staff and the organization. So, as many of you know, I wear a whoop on my wrist, and I want to track my heart rate, mostly for sleep and activity. So this was the day of the Great Saunter Walk, which was May 6th. I was walking from 7.26 in the morning to 6.31 at night. If you click on it, it pretty much tells you your activity. So let's go to the most interesting part, which is down here. Yes. I did burn a lot of calories, I was moving, but I was also eating a lot. It has my average heart rate, which is 112, I was trying to stay in zone one, which as you know, if you're consistent, it's just a regular zone. My max heart rate is 156, this is probably around some hills, and I walked for 11 hours, five minutes, and 14 seconds. And what I was really trying to do is maximize staying in zone one, because that means that you can do this activity all day. I did get into zone two when I was stressed and my body was adjusting to some hills, some fatigue, Dragging my feet that happened a lot and then zone three and four obviously high intensity more intervals So I was happy that I was able to stay here I wish I would have been in better shape to stay in zone one, but that's good I now have a goal for my next physical endurance challenge. So this is what the whoop told me Everybody talks about becoming a stronger person, but what are you doing to actually get there? Yes, I've gained some weight in the last few months. I've had some personal things I've had to settle in my own life and now I have just a goal of like, I want to be stronger. I want to be mentally, even more mentally stronger than physically stronger every single day. And with a walk like this, it definitely challenged me. And I want you guys to know that this might not be something you can challenge yourself with. Mm -hmm. So like, maybe you don't want to do a long walk. You want to do a new workout or you want to get a new job or you want to just do things that you never thought you could. The pain that you're going to go through is going to be indescribable, but the feeling that you know that you can come out the other side is also something that you should be really proud of yourself. And I am very aware that after this long walk, I was like a normal person where I was like, man, that was really hard. And then I realized, you know what? Let's sign up for another one. I'm going to do this walk again next year, but before I do that, I wanna train for a marathon. The longest I've ever run is a half marathon, which is 13.1 miles. But the thing that I want to do is challenge myself. And this is what the Great Saunter Walk is. Thank you so much for watching this video with all these views. I hope you, I appreciate you for listening to my rambling, a little bit of a therapy session. But if you ever want more information about this walk, I'll put a link to what this for this walk is and hopefully i'll see you guys next year walking it in new york uh thank you so much remember to be kind to yourself be kind to others and i'll see you next time